me about, uh, I guess, tell me the news that you posted last night on your site. Well, here, you know, with the government changing um, with this vaccine passport, we feel as a business that we shouldn't be asking people whether they're vaccinated or not. It's their choice, their opinion, still freedoms in Canada. As a company, we want to serve everybody because that's the business we're in. And to make it clear, you're not anti... No, we're not anti, we're not for... As a, as a family, JJ's, we're all, we all are vaccinated, but we have nothing against people if they don't want to be vaccinated or not. It's purely their choice. We feel safe enough that we've been vaccinated, and we're just trying to continue and doing business. And as I can see, even talking to you, you're taking the precautions. So the precautions are there, obviously. You've got everything precautions. So it's, is this one step too far? Is that what you're saying that the government is doing? Is that, and I don't uh, want to read into yeah, it. But I, mean, I don't know if it's one step too far. It's just, I just don't think it should be put on to us. It shouldn't be put on to any business or whether you're a big corporation or not. You know, small mom and pop like us, or maybe like a Boston pizza. Even them, I mean, we're individually, so we're here. We know we can do it. We own the place, but you know, Boston Pizza or somebody else, they got to hire students, whatnot. They got to start asking people these questions that they might not want to do. So what happens now then? So you just uh, and like before yesterday, were you dine in? We were up until last night. So we so, only had three tables because of the square footage we're allowed for just two meters uh, socially distancing. Um, the rest of the restaurant's been empty because of that, you know, the limitation of how many people. So three tables, it wasn't a lot. The weekends maybe, we have, you know, a little more busier with people sitting in. So you're talking 12 people? 12 people. So that's what So you're... we're allowed, for the square footage that we have offered right now, 15 people in the store to be able to properly socially distance. So it's not really... No, well... It does, it, like, don't it take good. it well, we, we, Like I said, we want to keep everybody happy, right? We want to keep all our customers happy to the point where we have... Um, whoever's working on this end, they're running orders out to people. So we just try to, they take place the order, we ask them to go wait in their car, and we will bring the food to them just to try and keep the numbers down inside the store. So you're doing the best you can in these times. Exactly. Tell me about uh, your post and tell me about uh, your decision. Um, it's, well, first let me by saying we are complying with everything up to date. Um, and that means we are not requesting to see people's vaccination cards. Um, we are still maintaining masks, six feet, um, taking people's information, but we drew the line today. We drew the line at taking people's medical history and information. Um, it's not what locals about. We want to create a safe place and we gave everyone the information so they can make a pro choice and decide if they want to come here or not. And if they do, we welcome it. And I want to basically thank everybody. The support and outreach we've got is very overwhelming. Tell me about, uh, you were saying today how people have come in because they've read the post. Yep, um, I am full tonight, which is very nice on a Wednesday, especially given the rain, but um, my restaurant is currently full with all people I've never been in before and that respect my post and we're happy that they have a safe, non-judgmental, non-discriminatory place to go and eat. And if I get this right, by all means, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not anti anything, you just think it's gone too far. Absolutely, I am pro-mask, pro-distance, all of that. Um, I've been very cautious where I go and what I do, not to further, I guess, transmit anything. But again, this was the line for us. The line was taking people's medical information and I'm refusing to take it from people. They're welcome to show me. I'll take it, I'll look at it all day, but we're not uh, requiring it. I think the best word would be to use. So are you gonna ask it or no? People are welcome to show me upon entry if they would like. I see what you're doing there, buddy. That's all right. No, no, it's gotta be. What's, uh, are you worried about the repercussions? Like in other words, fines, not people, but because um, as I say, the, you've been supportive, but I mean about people. Th there's, a lot about of, there's a lot of other things that I think they should be worrying about right now. If they're worried about me and the fines, they should go hang out at Costco because they're all full. There's no uh, regulations changed there, so. Was it a big decision for this? It was sleepless nights, yes loss of friends, loss of, but also a gain, like a strong gain, so that's. And you're only doing what you feel is right. Yep, and I had to sit with my staff and we had to make this choice together, so it was a tough one. How many staff? Uh, four to five. And they all agree? Not that it's, you're the boss, but I mean. No, I wanna create a safe working environment for them as well, much the same as I need to have for all my customers. It's the same thing, if we're not safe, you guys aren't safe as the public, and I'm very aware of that.